OK, so let's finish up this sequencer part of the Ultrabeat tutorial by looking at a final few bits and bobs, including everything to do with saving the patterns, which we haven't actually looked at yet. OK, well, the bottom line with Ultrabeat is that the patterns are tied to the kit. OK, there's no way to save the patterns independently of the kits, and there's no way to load the patterns into the Ultrabeat sequencer independently of the kits. Patterns are tied to the kits, and that's all there is to it. So I'm working on a new project, I load up my Ultrabeat and I choose a kit. I think, OK, I'm going to build a bunch of patterns um, with the Boutique SP12 kit. So I load the kit. And every single kit that you load, loads up its own 24 patterns. And these patterns are fixed to the kit. OK? And every factory kit has a bunch of demo patterns, factory ones and the other slots are left empty. But these 24 patterns are tied to this kit. So I choose a pattern slot, clear it, and begin building my custom pattern, as we've shown already in the tutorial. So I build one pattern, and then another, and another, and another, and I end up with a bunch of custom patterns I've built. OK, now. If I want to save these patterns, I have to save the kit, because the patterns are tied to the kit. So I go to the Ultrabeat menu here, and I can either save and overwrite the factory kit and the factory patterns, or I can do save as, and save it as a separate kit with a different title. Now I don't want to overwrite the Boutique SP12 factory kit and the factory patterns, so I do save as. I'm going to save it as Boutique SP12 Patterns. OK, a variation on the title. I'll save that, OK, and now that I've saved that kit with its patterns, that means that in the future, because that kit has been saved separately with its custom patterns, then in the future I can open that kit with its custom patterns in any other project. I just open an Ultrabeat, go and find my custom kit with its custom patterns, there it is, look. Boutique SP12 patterns, boom, and I load it, and it loads the kit with my custom patterns. Okay, right. That's the first way to save patterns. You save them with the kit. And if you do that, they can be loaded <coughs> into any other project. But you don't have to do that. Okay. Again, I've got an untitled project, it hasn't been saved yet. I'm starting to, a new one from scratch, let's say, and I set up an Ultra Beat, and I think, okay, I'm going to build some patterns for the. Blah, blah, blah. The Analog Techno Kit. Now I load the Analog Techno Kit from the library, boom, and it loads up the 24 patterns that go with that kit. Okay, these are the factory patterns and then the empty slots. But these patterns are fixed with this kit. And I do the same thing. I choose a pattern, clear it, and begin building my custom patterns using this kit instead. Okay, so again I'll just chuck in a few notes to simulate building a pattern. And I build a pattern, and then another, and another, and another, and again I end up with a bunch of custom patterns. OK, now, I don't have to save or save as to save the kit with the patterns. If I just save the project, let me do save, and I'm going to save the project as test pattern save. Just overwrite the old one there, like that. OK, now once I've saved the project, then these custom patterns are saved with the project. OK, they're not saved with the kit. I didn't save them with the kit. All right, but the patterns are saved with the project. So in the future then, if I reopen the project, OK, it puts the Analog Techno kit, factory kit, on the Ultrabeat for me, but it loads the patterns into the sequencer of Ultrabeat from the project save. OK, these patterns were never saved with the Analog Techno kit. This is still the factory kit. These patterns are loaded into Ultrabeat from the project save. Now, if I go and load the Analog Techno kit again from the library, it loads up with its factory patterns, because I never saved and overwrote it. So it's still there with its factory patterns. But if I load the project, it loads up the Analog Techno kit in the Ultrabeat, and it loads my custom patterns into the sequencer of Ultrabeat from the project save. So there's another way to do it, just save the project. But if you do it like this, these patterns in the Ultrabeat can only ever be opened with this project. They were never saved with the kit, so they can't be opened with the kit 
in the future in a different project. The only way to access these patterns now is to open this project that they were saved with. Okay, that's the other way to do it. Okay, um, let me make ultra bit smaller for the next bit. Now, this whole business of the patterns being tied to the kits or to the projects introduces a problem. We can build a whole bunch of patterns and we can save them with a kit and then in the future we can load them with a kit like I'll load up Boutique SP12 patterns. It loads the Boutique SP12 patterns kit and that includes all my custom patterns. But the patterns are tied to the kit. The only way I can open these patterns is to open the Boutique SP12 patterns kit because these patterns go with that kit. But what if these patterns are brilliant and I want them to play a different kit? Well then you're stuffed. Um, certainly from doing it simply. Okay, because the bottom line is there's no way to get the patterns from one ultra beat into another ultra beat. I mean I could, you know, create another ultra beat track. And on that ultra beat I could put the kit that I want to trigger. Let's say the Boutique 909. Now I want the custom patterns that I built and saved with this kit, which I can only open by opening this kit and which can only be in this kit. But I want these patterns to play this kit instead. Well, sadly, we cannot copy a pattern from one ultra beat and paste it into another ultra beat. It just doesn't work. Paste. And when you paste a pattern from one to another ultra beat, it simply pastes in an empty pattern. And sometimes that pattern is reduced to one step in length. It doesn't work. So we can't copy patterns from one ultra beat into an ultra beat with a different voice kit and have those custom patterns trigger a different kit like that. There's no way to do it sadly. So if we want patterns that were created and saved with one kit and that can only be opened by opening that kit, if we want those custom patterns to trigger a different kit, we've only got two workarounds available to us. The first is to use the import which you think would import a whole kit of 25 voices into the current ultra beat into the 25 voice slots but it doesn't work like that. When you click the import here it takes you to your ultra beat kits folder you choose a kit to import such as pop R&B kit but when you click open it doesn't dump the 25 voices from that kit into the current ultra beat replacing all the voices it instead presents you with a list and these are the 25 voices in the kit that you want to import you can then audition them and you have to drag and drop them one by one into the slots of the current kit that you want. So yeah, you can go to all that palaver of importing a completely different set of voices from another kit into the current kit and when you finish doing that, yes, you'll have a completely different kit of voices but your patterns, your custom patterns are still there because we haven't loaded a different kit. These patterns are still the Boutique SP12 patterns but we've simply replaced all the voices with the new kit of voices. But what a palaver. So the most practical way to do it is you get your ultra beat, load up the kit with the patterns that you want to access, and the only way to do it then is choose the pattern you want, the custom pattern, switch on the ultra beat sequencer and then drag and export that pattern as a MIDI region and dump the exported pattern onto the other ultra beat track. Okay, then this ultra beat that the pattern came from, you turn it off completely so it won't run when logic plays. And now the exported pattern is sitting on the track of the new ultra beat with the different kit. And now this new kit, this different kit, can be triggered by the custom pattern that's been exported onto its track. But that's the only way to do it. There's no way to get this pattern into this ultra beat. It's impossible. So that's your workarounds, okay? Okay, um, okay, let's finish up with a final few bits and bobs. Um, let's make Ultra Beat bigger for this bit. Okay, now, down at the bottom here, on the grey background where the uh, velocity and gate ladders are, if you right click, you get a, a sub menu here. Okay, let's just quickly look at that. Now, there's one thing about Ultra Beat, is it remembers the state of the gate and the velocity on the steps. So if you've got a sequence for a voice like that, say, with different gates and different velocities, 
and you think well I'll just take them all out and then draw in another row of sixteenths which will all be the default gate and, and velocity but no Ultrabeat remembers the state of notes on any step in a sequence and if you take them out and put them back in they just get put in back as they were before and then you think oh for god's sake don't tell me I've got to alt left click on every single one of these bloody ladders to reset them all no you don't you could just right click on the background and reset and it resets them all to the default velocity and gate right that's good okay other commands that you've got on the gray background here is randomize velocity and gate uh, and that just does what it says on the tin randomize velocity each time you do it randomizes the velocity of the notes in the sequence for the current voice and it does it quite drastically reset and randomize gate does the same with gate each time it randomizes the gates of the notes in the sequence for the voice okay fair enough they you know but these other two oops come on right mouse but these other two alter velocity and gate they're a bit more subtle alter velocity again just randomizes the velocity of the notes in the sequence for the current voice but it does it very subtly each time and the alter gate i don't get that one at all it randomizes very subtly the gates of some of the notes in the sequence but it only seems to ever do them do it to the notes up this end of the sequence so it's I don't know what the point of that is but anyway there you go the reset is very useful though okay and then we've got another sub menu if we right click on any of these numbers the step numbers across there that row if we right click we get this big menu okay now the most useful is the copy paste and clear again that whole thing I said about how Ultrabeat remembers the state of the gate and the velocity of steps okay you know like if you've got a sequence for a voice like that with different velocities and different um, gates if you take them all out and put them all back in again it, it, the state of the steps is remembered but if you do clear it gets rid of them all and removes the state of those steps from the memory so when you draw in a new row they all get the default velocity and gate so clear is quite useful but the most useful voice copy and paste because you can copy a sequence from any voice go to another voice and paste that sequence in so we can copy and paste sequences from one to another voice but only within the same pattern you can't copy a sequence from one voice in one pattern and then choose another pattern and paste that sequence in and I'm not even, even going to try to do it because every time you do it it crashes logic okay so you, that's very useful though we've got copy and paste between different voices in the same pattern very very useful okay now the other menu items are a bit less useful add every downbeat puts in a note on every downbeat which in effect gives you uh, a note on every first uh, step of each beat which gives you an instant four on the floor kick and add every upbeat adds a note on every upbeat the three to seven eleven etc which again would be uh, you know might be useful if you you could quickly put in an open eye on the three seven eleven to get a classic house but etc but otherwise not much use um and then you've got this alter existing randomly which is not much use it just does what it says alters the existing notes randomly in terms of their position reverse existing again not much use it just reverses the existing notes in terms of their sequence from left to right um, now another one you've got here is this shift you've got shift left or right one step half a beat or one beat and you've got it for both left and right directions again completely useless if your note is a standard velocity and gate I mean why would I bother choosing this note and then going Oh, I want to move that node one beat to the right. When I could just <laughs> knock the beat out there and put it in there instead. But that can be useful if you've got a note with a specific gait and velocity. Now, if I think, well, I'll knock this note out from here and put it in a beat to the right, then I have to recreate the specific gait and velocity again. Okay but so that can be useful there if I've got a, a note with a specific gate and velocity I right click on it and I can shift that note with its specific gate and velocity in either left or right direction 
a step, a half beat, or a whole beat. So I'll shift that note left one whole beat, boom. And it moves the whole note with its velocity and gate one whole beat to the left or to the right or whatever I want. Like I said, it can be useful for that. Oh, and the other things, I mean, they're about as much use as a chocolate fire guard. These ones, create and replete, replace randomly, create and replace few, some and many. Just bung in a load of random notes. Um, few, some or a lot. Or just random. You know, completely useless. I don't know why I'd ever use those, but there they are. Okay. So there's your extra menus. And that's it for the Ultrabeat sequencer. So, um, let's move on now to the th next chapter, which is, for beginners, everything to do with the synthesis and the sounds of Ultrabeat, including everything to do with playing loops.